Welcome to More Than Mindset, the only podcast that bridges the gap between spirituality and success. Go beyond the mind with clarity and confidence coach Kim Guillory and learn how to integrate your passion to serve with your skills and experience to create a business you love. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I have to tell you, I'm in a pretty silly mood. It has been an amazing couple of weeks. I offered something new in the business and that is taking off, but not just that. Since this pandemic, there are more and more people who are suffering with chronic pain, with rashes, you know, all of these undiagnosed conditions are flared up. And you know what it's coming from, right? All of this stress is pulling up these repressed emotions, these suppressed emotions, all of this stuff that has been hidden and pushed down in the tank is coming to the surface. And we are seeing it materialize in physical form, which means a lot of people are reaching out, asking questions. They are listening to what's happening. They're noticing why? Because they have time because a lot of them are not at work and they're not doing the normal busyness. And so they have time to reflect. They have time to ask questions, to inquire, to read, to investigate and educate themselves, which is so exciting. This is what I've been waiting for. So I have been training practitioners on this self-healing technique and it is boof, getting things done. So exciting. So I've had a few massage therapists who are telling me that their clients are having amazing breakthroughs and they're like, they don't even understand how this is possible. They're not on the massage table. They're not seeing me in person. I'm not putting my hands on them. What's happening here? So I had several inquiries about that this week and we had some really long conversations and guess what? They're on board and they are ready to get started. So that makes me really pumped up. And then the other program, just helping the health and wellness entrepreneurs really step into making some consistent money, some, whether it's their first 50K or multiplying 50K. Guys, this is some good stuff. You need the stability, the foundation, getting grounded in a system, in a process, and actually learning the skill set of making money, building and growing a business. These are super important things. If you want to get your work out into the world, like this is part of your training. This is part of your business education. You can look at it as just like going to college, you get a foundation, but then you have to go out and work in the practical world, right? You got to get training. You have to start helping people. You have to really dial in on your skills so you can help them get better, quicker results. So the practicality of dialing in and getting super clear about what you do, how you do it, who you help, that's one thing, but your ability, ability and your belief in yourself. That's all on you. That's you. That's a practice. That's a skill set. That's something that you need to learn. Anyway, I'm super excited about both of those, but mostly I think it's about the awareness that everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, <laughs> that many people are coming to and recognizing that there is a self-healing technique that is available for all of us. And getting that in the hands of more and more practitioners is, I'm just very excited. Anyway, that's the beginning of the show. I just wanted to be in celebration of the joy. My heart is open. My soul is excited. My mind is clear. I'm really dialed in. Like I know exactly what the world needs at this point, And I know exactly what tool these health and wellness practitioners can use to get that out there. Fun fascinating, exciting, all of that. But anyway, we're going to dial in today. So we're going to talk all about beliefs. We're going to decide to believe. And I want you to know you've likely already decided to believe, which is giving you the results that you have right now. And I want to bring that to your awareness. And so I've been talking to quite a few clients this week about beliefs because you know, things just kind of happen in, I don't know, kind of like these little groups of things. So when I see one or two clients doing it, and then I'll kind of see it online, I'll see it in my own life. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's almost like there's this container for the lesson that happens kind of all at the same time. And so the theme that I'm seeing right now is really about belief work. And so many of you have decided 
to believe that you can't have better, to believe that this is it. This is just how it works. It has to be hard. It has to take long. I can't get what I need. It won't happen for me. And the way I know this is because some of you are looking at the same exact results that have always been there. And so you've like trained yourself to believe that's just how it is. If it were meant to be, if it were supposed to happen, it would have happened already. B S. That is an old belief system. Decision to believe. That's on you. So first of all, we want to bring it to your awareness. I want you to take a really good look at the results you have right now and ask yourself the question, what have I done? What actions have I taken to give me these results? Right here, right now, write it down. Ask yourself the question and write down the answer. What are the results you have right now? If you're talking about how many clients, how much money, or if you want to even bring this into relationships and your own health, ask yourself the question, how did I get in this position right now? You need to lose 50, 60, 70 pounds. Like, how did I get in this position right now? When did I decide that this was going to work for me? When did I decide that not having any clients was okay? When did I decide that not making any money was okay? When did I make that decision? Why did I make that decision? What have I done from making that decision? In other words, once I decided it was okay, it was all right, I had plenty of time, it was going to take long, it was going to be hard. Once I decided that, what are the results that I got that I'm living right now? These are the kind of questions that you need to ask yourself. We're going to talk about an innovative approach to healing beliefs. What? Heck yes. <laughs> it's a healing process, isn't it all? Right. So the decision to believe is a practice that you do on purpose. And I want to bring awareness and then I want to ask you questions. And if you find this kind of, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, just know that you're in resistance and you're not even in the position to be able to receive something different to get yourself out of it. So I want you to notice the thoughts that you have as I speak here, because I believe anyone can heal their money story, their marriage, but they have to be able to heal their mindset. See what I'm saying? Those sneaky beliefs that are telling you that this is the relationship just what it is, just how it is. This is the money that you make. Yep. Just how it is. If it was going to be different, it'd be different. I've tried everything. I just don't know what else to do. And it's the same thing with your health, with your weight, with being low on energy, with having conditions that are undiagnosed or that are not healed or things that you've just been tolerating, living with for 10 years, 15 years, five years, Whatever it is, know that you made a decision somewhere along the way that it was enough, that it was okay, and you settled and you continued to get those results. If you turn this off right now, just know that you are in resistance. You made a decision to believe that was okay. And I want to call you on it today for you because I love you. And I want you to see that you have an option. But more than that, I want you to see that you chose it. And I say that with so much compassion. I didn't know I was choosing this stuff either. I really didn't. But there was no one telling me I was doing it for me to understand it, for me to perceive it differently, for me to stop doing it, for me to investigate. In other words, it was not in my awareness until it was in my awareness. And so if you're listening to this, I want to offer you the opportunity to become aware that the results you have came from a decision to believe in whatever it is that you are now receiving. And the same way you created it, you can create something different. And I want to talk to you about that today. So some of this, like 
tapping into beliefs, you know, and being able to turn it around. Sounds a little woo. Sounds a little unconceivable to some of you. And the getting beyond the resistance, being willing to drop that I could be wrong. Just see if you can consider this. I could be wrong and she could be right. I could have created this somehow. I could be responsible for these results. I could be one who made the decision to settle at this weight, the way this relationship is, the money that I make, the way my business looks, all of that. See if you can soften and consider that maybe there was a sneaky belief, an old story, an old belief that you found evidence and proof around that strengthened it. And you strengthened the disbelief in better, the disbelief in results that you really wanted kind of explore that. I'm going to do it with you. You can go back and listen to this again. We're going to just keep dialing in and questioning and questioning and questioning. And then I'm going to tell you exactly what to do to change it. So you have to be willing to see that you create your results. And if you believe that you're at the mercy of luck or just how things happen or I've done everything in my power to please them or please him or, and it's just not working. Like all of those things are actually distractions. You have to be willing to drop all of those stories and come to a very, very neutral space where you can receive this information that you decided what you wanted. What? You're like, no way. I did not decide this. No, Kim, you're crazy. But I'm telling you, you decided it. Whether you are stuck in a crummy marriage, just know that every single day you choose to stay there. How do we know this? Because you are there. Every single day you choose to sit in wishing your business were different. And then you keep doing the same thing you've always done. You keep looking backwards And you keep trying to figure out either what someone else did or something that may have worked for you in the past or something that you heard a long time ago. And then you keep doing that and you just keep recreating the past. I see this all the time. So how we do anything is how we do everything. So take a really good look at your relationships, at your finances, at your business, at your physical health, at your mindset. Our mindset is what creates the way we believe, the way we understand, the way we perceive is what creates more, okay? If you think I'm a positive thinker, have a great outlook, like I'm positive Polly or whatever you want to call it, like I would never be talking like all those negative Nelly people and I don't even like to be around those people. If you were thinking like that, you're going to have to really take a good hard look and ask yourself a lot of questions. What am I choosing every day? What am I choosing to think? What am I feeling? And what actions are I'm taking when I'm feeling that? Write it down. Am I choosing to be in this position? Am I choosing to believe that this is all that is available for me? Am I choosing to stay here because it's comfortable, because I don't think I can have better, because I believe it should take longer, because I believe it's supposed to be hard. Like I'm giving you some hints about the questions that you can ask yourself. If you are just listening to this and you are not writing this down and you're not asking yourself, just know that that's possibly a repeated pattern. I listen to books. I listen to podcasts, I listen to interviews, I watch what everyone else does, and I don't do it myself. Ask yourself that question. Do I just consume or do I take action and implement what I am hearing, what I am learning, what I now know? Ask yourself, am I writing this down? Am I answering the questions? 
So here's a way for you to do a review. Because you're going to have to choose to believe the new belief, and then you're going to have to commit to it. Just like you chose to believe the old belief that's creating the results you have now. Believe it or not, you chose it. You might have chosen it unconsciously, but I promise you, you chose it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in the position that you're in. Okay? So right here, right now, I choose to believe dot, 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 whatever that is for you. Of course, I want everyone to grow into an entrepreneur and like expand and explode their business and make some money and go out there and help people because that's my tribe. Those are my people. So I would put that in the dot, dot, dot. Okay. So I choose to believe, put it down. And then I want you to ask yourself the question, what is it that I want specifically? What am I doing to get it? Specifically. So if you tell me you want five new clients or you want $50,000 or you want to expand your business or double your clientele or lose 20 pounds, whatever it is, what do I want? And then write down at least five things that you're doing to get it. And don't just write it and say it, but you have to actually be doing the things or you can't write it down. (laughs) Notice how many things you're able to actually write down. Because then you're going to ask yourself the question, is it working? Did it work? So I'll just give you a really clean example because I love analogies. And so that would be, what do I want? Two new clients. What am I doing to get it? Are you telling stories? Are you making offers? Are you painting pictures? Are you visiting at your neighbor's house? Are you like, what are you doing specifically? Tell me what you've done in the last week. If you are not in the more than mindset group, I invite you to come over and we can have the conversation there. What did you do? And the way you'll know if it's working is you'll look at the results. So what are the results you have today? So if you tell me you wanted two new clients or four new clients, then what are the results right now? And if you tell me zero results, then I want you to go back to what am I doing and to reevaluate that and then drop back down, come to results. And you're like, nope, I'm sure I did it. I did exactly what I said I would do. I sent out 25 emails. I made 1500 offers. I'm joking. (laughs) I made 10 offers. I posted every day. I started Insta stories, whatever it is. And my results are zero clients. Then I'm going to ask you, what am I going to change? What am I going to do differently? And then you'll answer that. What am I willing to do differently? What am I willing to see differently? What am I willing to believe differently? And it may be as simple as a new decision to believe differently. See if that makes sense to you. So it could be a sneaky thought that I really didn't think it was possible for me So I've been looking at everyone else and watching what they're doing and comparing myself. We call this compare and despair. I'm like sad and envious and jealous. And so I don't even want to put myself out there because I'm so ashamed and I'm so embarrassed. Those would be the actions that you're taking. So just kind of question yourself. I love you. And I really want to help you. I want to help you shift through some of this stuff so that you can get the results you want because it is so much funner when we can all come out and play so much funner. So what do I want? What am I doing? Is it working? And how would I change it? What would I do different? And that is your homework. So I'll leave you with that. And then I want to just kind of talk to you about something. Many of us fool ourselves because we don't want to get honest. We don't want to answer these questions. We don't want to take a look at what we're not doing. We don't want to take responsibility for these decisions that we're making about our beliefs. We think it's just the way it is. It's all I ever knew. No one ever told me. Well, I asked for help and couldn't get it. Like all of that stuff, guys, that's just stories that are holding you back. It's distractions. It's drama. And it's never going to get you where you want to go. And when you're thinking those thoughts, you're telling your brain to go gather more evidence because you want to be right. We always want to be right, all of us. And so if you're thinking about what you're not getting, then your brain's going to go get that evidence for you so that it can prove it so that you can feel safe. And then you can go and hang out with 
the same story somewhere else, right? You'll just keep building it up, building it up, building it up. And instead of finding a different avenue, someone who is believing, someone is challenging, someone who is pushing it, like you'll tend to want to go back down. If you remember the story about the crab pot, like, well, at least this is better than failing by myself. Like I would much rather just kind of hang out down here where it's super comfortable. I know what to expect rather than climbing up the pot and the possibility of slipping back down or even worse, the possibility of being on the rim of the pot by myself. The reason I say that is I want you to really ask yourself, what is most important to you? Is it being liked? Is it being understood? Is it being validated? Like what is the thing that is most important to you? Are you throwing away your success because you're afraid of change and what you have to leave behind? Are you afraid to make clear, concise offers because you're afraid of what someone will think about you? Are you more concerned about their thoughts about you than you are about your thoughts about yourself? That's really the question. Just notice where you may be. It's almost like an unintentional self-sabotage so that things can just stay familiar. But then you use that against yourself and you kind of like go lick your wounds in a corner and talk about how you can't have it. You can't do it. See how terrible I am. Of course I can't. And so you're actually on the defeat side of the coin where you believe and then your brain proves it. And then you go and sulk in the evidence that you created. You created the evidence of disbelief, but you can't see it because it's so familiar. And the story has been running for so long that not only have you told it to yourself over and over, but now you've told it to other people over and over, and then y'all are all in the same boat. See if that feels true to you. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I know this, I serve in lots of communities and I've seen it in every single one. And so I just offer you the invitation to go and investigate. Are you fooling yourself? And are you willing to quit the old beliefs, the old stories that you identify yourself as and don't even notice? Are you willing to decide to believe on purpose that you can be the next version of yourself, that you can make more money, that you can have better relationships, that you can heal your body? And who would you be Once you have a healed self image, once you're feeling confident, once you have more money, once you're in better relationships, once your body is healed and strong and energetic, who would you be? What would happen to the old identity? And see if the answer is not there. Because sometimes we're so afraid of the unknown, of not knowing who we're going to be and believing that other people won't accept us as the newer version, that we keep ourselves here to feel safe. We very often don't notice that we really already decided to keep the old beliefs going and we don't recognize it. We see it as that's just the way things are. That's just truth. That's just how it is, right? We don't recognize that it's just a belief that we continue to feed and it continues to grow. And once we make the decision that we no longer want to believe that way, then we don't know what that's going to mean. It's kind of like turning in your badge and saying, I quit my corporate job in order to be an entrepreneur. It's such a big, bold step. And there's a part of you that envisions how amazing that would be to have time freedom, to have like unlimited amounts of income you can make and 
I can create, I can have abundance, I can do what I've always wanted to do, I can have freedom to express. You think of that, but then there's a part of your older self that's been carrying these limited beliefs that you've decided to believe long ago. And those two are battling against each other. And because you know how one's going to be, it's easier to choose that one. And then you'll say things like, well, it's better than, and you'll either imagine someone else and the position they're in being worse than yours, or you'll imagine yourself at a time when you were in a worse position, and then you will use that information against yourself. And that is how we settle. It's very, very subtle and sneaky, but it is a decision that you make, a decision to believe that that's all there is. And then in order to try to make yourself feel better about it, you find the evidence and the proof of how much worse it can be. I want you to really take some time this week and explore that and ask yourself, what did you decide to believe? And what do you want to decide to believe moving forward? And recognizing that believing is a practice. Just like this integrative approach to self-healing is a practice. Buddhism is a practice, right? Meditation is a practice. Yoga, practice. They are things that you do on a daily basis and sometimes an hourly basis. Sometimes it's two times a day, but you have to continue to do it on purpose. So deciding is a practice. You have to choose to stay in belief over and over and over and over. So whenever I tell you the C-step solution, choose, commit, cultivate. You are cultivating as if it already happened. And what that means is you keep choosing and commit over and over and over until, what's the next step? You continue until you create it. You continue. Continue means practice. You practice until you create it. So you practice staying in belief on purpose. Bam. End of show. (laughs) That's what you needed to hear. I hope you made it all the way to the end. All right. If you want to come over to the More Than Mindset Facebook group, we can discuss this. I do a group meditation on Monday. On Tuesday, I've been teaching. On Wednesday, I do live coaching. On Thursday, I do a live interview with people who are doing different modalities. They are putting themselves out into the world. They have succeeded. They're either my peers or my coaches or my clients or friends that are in holistic wellness. That's one thing we have in common. Or they are doing something amazing out in the world. They are proving possibility and potentiality. We have some really great conversations about health, wellness, relationships, money, business, energy, all of that fun stuff, intuition. And if you are ready to start making some consistent money in your business. The 5K for replay, it's a mastermind. I'm still kind of playing around with the name, just know that, 5K on replay, becoming an entrepreneur. It's something along those lines, Mind Body Mastermind. It is all about holistic wellness leaders who want to make more money in their business that is really stable. And we want to create clients, resources, finances on purpose. I want to teach you how to make money on demand, how to bring clients in on demand. And that is my new (laughs) exciting offer that I'm doing right now. I do still have the integrative coaching That's something of teaching the health and wellness practitioner my actual integrative approach to self-healing. So I teach them the tools. But this particular mastermind that I'm talking about, it is six months of building business, growing business, making money, getting clients, getting things done. So I want to invite you to come over to do that. I think there's an application applied to the end of this. It's for sure on the last one. So just click on that and fill it out. I'd love to hear from you. All right, you guys have a great week. Thanks for listening to this episode of More Than Mindset. 